Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Here's another spy update. This is for week 45. I made $237. So we have Monday, a loss of 45, but a gain on Tuesday, and then $50 on Wednesday. Thursday made 100. Because I was expecting a pullback this week, my trades were mostly bearish, and then $65 on Friday. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 is up 1.36%. So here's what the graph looks like. I was expecting the market to dip a little bit more this week, but the upward momentum continued to be strong, carrying over from last week. So if we look at the daily chart, we can see that the stock market is now higher than the October peak here last month, and it's probably going to go higher, aiming for this level back in September. I was expecting a bit of a dip this week. It looks like we got a small correction over here, just a single down day, but that wasn't the back test that I was expecting because if you look at the nine exponential moving average and the uh, 21, the green and the blue, the market did not come back and retest those levels. Instead, it kind of just bounced right at the top of this gap over here between Thursday and Friday of last week. So that's pretty bullish. So instead of going like down, touching these EMAs and then going higher, it looks like the market just wants to go higher from here. So next week, I would expect higher prices. We might get a small correction again, maybe as the green line heads up. But because the MACD and the RSI are both heading upwards and they're both above the neutral point of 0 and 50, the short-term momentum seems to be going upwards for the SPY. And just one more thing to note is on the QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, Friday marked a nine count sell signal. And not always, but that is usually followed by a downward move in the next few days. Previously, when there was a nine count sell signal, you can see the market went down. And the inverse of that, which is the nine count buy signal, usually when that happens, the market goes up afterwards. But again, not always. Like here's a nine count buy signal, but the market continued to go down for almost a week before bouncing up again. So if this nine count sell signal starts a downward move in the triple Q, there's a good chance that the SPY will follow. But unless SPY can move back below the red line here, the 50 exponential moving average, I would continue to stay medium term bullish going into the end of the month. So just a short one for today. Hope you all had a good week and I'll talk to you in the next one.